Welcome to Minor's Oracle DBA YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about how to install PG Repack in Linux machine. So if we install the PG Repack, by default it will install the latest version of 1.4.7. But I am never demo. We are going to use Postgres version 12. So it will support the PG Repack version of 1.4.5. So due to the version conflict we are unable to proceed it further to avoid that we have to manually download and install the 1.4.5 version of pg repack let's see the steps one by one in detail first step we have to execute cat etc os release which is helps to understand what is our linux machine flavor and version details second thing we have to switch as a root user to update the existing library files by using m update y it this command will take much more time, so I am just passing this video. The M update was successful. The second step we are going to install wget through m install wget. wget is a free and open source software package for getting files using HTTP, HTTPS, and FTP internet protocols. We are going to install a readline devil and open SSL. Readline devil package files needs to develop program which use the readline library. The OpenSSL is a toolkit for supporting cryptography. The OpenSSL devil package contains include files needs to develop application which support various cryptographic algorithm and protocols. So if you see the result that both dependency file has been installed successfully. Now I am going to install the PostgreSQL devil package. This package is designed for Postgres development header and library files. So we are going to execute sudo m install postgres devil. If you see the result, it will install the postgres static 9.2.4-8. So this version is very much important for the further step. The next step is we are going to install the GCC. GCC stands for JNU Compiler Collection. It is a collection of compilers and libraries for C, C++, Objective-C, Photon, Ada, Go and deep programming languages. May open source projects include the JNU tools and the Linux kernel are compiled with GCC. Now I am going to execute the command of sudo m install gcc. If you see the result that gcc has been installed successfully. The next step is we are going to install the postgres client server rpm through wget command. So this version detail should be matched with the postgres devil package details otherwise it will cause an error. So once we executed this wget command that particular rpm has been installed on our local machine. So to verify that we are going to execute ls-lrth. So the particular rpm is resides here. So now we are going to install the rpm by using sudo rpm-i the particular file name. So it is installed successfully. We are going to download the pg repack 1.4.5 zip folder by using the wget command. Once we executed this command, we can see that particular zip file has been downloaded on our Linux machine. Here it is a new Linux machine so we don't have a unzip. So I am going to install unzip by using m install unzip. Once we install, we are going to unzip of our pg repack 1.4.5. So once we unzip that particular pg repack 1.45 so we can see that pg repack directory on our linux machine so i am just entering into the directory by using cd command now i am going to execute the make command the make command will ensure there are no dependency library errors on that pg repack installation so I have executed if you see the result all our dependencies are available so we can move to further installation whether we can use sudo make install or else we can just use cd bin pg dot slash pg repack so here we can invoke that pg repack from in the directory as well so i am just using the dot slash pg repack iphone iphone version here the version it shows 1.4.5 so we have successfully installed 